good morning everybody welcome to my wardrobe yes i have wet hair because i just had the nicest shower you know when you have like a full hair wash um and like let your conditioner soak in for a bit did a full body exfoliate then i did a body moisturize i've just done my skincare i haven't put any makeup on uh, my serum in my hair just combed it through and i'm gonna let it air dry because i'm just at home today so we're in my wardrobe for the changeover that's not, I'm going to think, think, I want to think of a better way of saying that. Something more dramatic, like for the seasonal changeover. That's it. So you might have watched my video earlier in the year where I changed it from autumn and winter to spring summer. So now I'm changing it from spring summer into autumn winter. So last night Tom and I went up into the loft and got all of my winter clothes down from the winter just gone. Um, I'll show you those actually. So I stored all of my coats and jumpers and wintry clothes, um, most of them in these Ikea dimper bags, um, but I didn't have enough for all of these, so I actually used a vacuum packed bag for some other bits as well. Um, so I've got these down from the loft last night, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the wardrobe first and then sort these. So my plan is to go through my wardrobe um, and take out anything summery, anything that I'm not going to wear for the next six months or anything that I don't want anymore. My process, I think I've got a good process. I take it out and I have three piles. One is uh, saving for next spring summer, two is for charity and three is to sell. So anything that I'm keeping will go back in those bags and back into the loft until next year. And if it's going to charity, I have um, near where I live, there's like a little square of shops and there's two charity shops in there. So I always like divide the bags between those two. So my wardrobes are not tidy at the moment and I've got the PAX system from Ikea. And here on this side was, well, the rail's still there actually, I need to take that down, but instead I have put in drawers instead of the rail. I feel like I wasn't utilising this space enough and as you can see I haven't got um, tons and tons of space so I wanted to utilise it better. Basically I had all of my trousers and jeans hang up here, but wait for it. I did this the other day because I was very excited about it. I went through all of my trousers, um, well actually just my jeans. I got rid of any ones that I'm not going to wear and then I've folded them up. So the only problem is, and I didn't think this through, but there's a radiator here so I can't open the drawer anymore. But I'll be able to get them out. But I just think this is a much, much better space saving way and I can actually see them way easier so I'm very very happy with that drawer. I'm also going to use the other drawers um, to fold up big chunky knits because they take up so much space in your wardrobe. Very flip your back round. Sometimes the really heavy jumpers um, take up so they take up loads of space and they can lose their shape sometimes I find on the hangers like if they're really heavy they kind of like get the um, coat hanger marks on them so I'm going to use a drawer for that and I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the other drawers yet let's just see how it goes so I'm going to start with putting some music or a podcast on as I'm going through all of these summery pieces I feel like I'm putting away loads of these gorgeous summery dresses that I didn't really even get to wear that I'd either um, these are some of like my favourite dresses that I've had for years or a new one that I bought at the start of the year in hope for summer and I just feel like we've been totally robbed of our summer haven't we? All of these summer clothes that I'm putting away like I just feel like I didn't even really get to wear. It's weird isn't it and I feel like come next maybe March when I do the wardrobe changeover to spring summer it'll be weird getting them back out again and seeing I know this sounds really deep for clothes but when I get these back out, it'll remind me of this day when I put them away and wonder, I wonder where we'll be in another six months time because, you know, we all didn't think we would be where we were today six months ago, did we? We just thought, oh, it's just going to be a quick flash. It'll be over in a couple of weeks. Uh, no, it, <laughs> how many months later? Seven months? Are we coming into the eighth month of it now? Um, yeah, so when I get these clothes back out, or my summery clothes, next year, I wonder if we'll actually get to kind of have more of a summer next year. Who knows? Just another sunny day in Southern California It's where the people came to play Don't let them transform
Okay, I think I've done so well. This is all of my stuff that I want to keep for next summer. Um, and here is things that I'm going to sell because most of them have still got tags on and they're just really nice but I just don't think I'm going to get the wear out of them. So, um, but look at how much space I've made. Um, so here I've kept things like basic tees and vests that I'll use for layering, um, some shirts and then here I've still got, look at the dust on the top of those black blazers. Um, I've got, I've kept in some blazers and sweatshirts there. And then in the long department, I've kept in um, a trench coat and a dress. I actually keep my really new clothes um, downstairs in my office because I keep them there for styling videos. Um, because when they first come in, I want to get loads of wear out of them. So I actually keep them downstairs for lots of filming videos and things. So they do move upstairs eventually, but that's why like loads of my really new things aren't in these wardrobes. I'll show you um, later where I keep them. I've just come down for a quick coffee. And do you put your milk in um, and then your coffee? Or do you put your coffee in and then your milk in? I always used to do coffee first and then put the milk on top. But I basically, the only reason I do it like this, oh no, it won't fit properly to push that up it's because look how satisfying this is to watch hang on i need to just get my phone out to um film it for instagram stories <laughs> So I'm multitasking at the moment. I'm going through the bags of last year's winter clothes and I'm also tuning into a Percy and Reed Zoom session to learn about their new products. So I have gone through all of the winter stuff from last year and here is everything that I'm gonna put back into my wardrobe. I'm so excited to get uh, this and this blazer. These are my and other story wall blazers. Um, oh my goodness, like I've had so much wear out of these and I can't wait to wear them more. Do you remember this coat as well? That was from H&M, I love that. Um, oh my goodness, every year I get this. This is like, I think they're like four years old. I love that. Just so many pieces I'm excited to wear again. have hung up um, the majority of things this is just so satisfying it's not going to stay this tidy is it um, and I've put my blazers in there and I've hung up some um, some of the jumpers but I've got this pile of knitwear here that I want to fold so here we go I'm on YouTube Marie Kondo folding jumpers how I'm going to learn how to fold these jumpers um, and give it a go this looks great, but am I going to, like every time I wear it and then wash it, I've got to put them all away again like this. And my concern is that I've got some roll necks that are obviously smaller, and then I've got some oversized jumpers. So I've got all different sizes, but the way they do it, everything looks the same size. I've turned the sound down um, so we don't get in trouble for copyright, but they make it look very easy. I mean, okay, so this is they're doing a hoodie now. So fold the sides just shy of the centre. It's that arm tuck. I mean, I don't know how to do that. Repeat on the other side. Okay, I'm going to give this a go. What about the hood? When do they... Okay, fold. Look how... Have I got time to do this every time I put something away? Okay, so we're folding into thirds. That's what I did with my jeans as well. And then they get it to stand up. Like, what? How is that standing up? My jeans were not standing up. Right, so I folded those knits up. I've put my um, little thin roll necks at the front and then chunkier jumpers at the back. This will be filled up. I've got more knits downstairs and I have kept a few in there, so I might fold those up as well. But 
I'm happy, I mean, all, the roll necks are all different sizes, but that's fine, but it is so much, um, you just save so much more space in a drawer, and actually, I prefer how you can see them, um, so I'm really happy that I swapped over from hanging to drawers here. I did this on the last um, wardrobe switchover, but I've put all of my belts, I've just rolled them up and put them in this little basket so that can sit in there nice and neatly. I've actually taken my coats out of this long section because um, in this room, I don't even know what this is, but we did try to kind of like, <laughs> Tom tried to knock it down, but it's some kind of support for the stairs. Um, and it's really popular if you've got like a three bed semi-detached 1960s house loads of them had it we kept seeing it when we was looking at houses um so this space was kind of like didn't really know what to do with it so tom very cleverly um has built a cupboard uh, with doors during the summer i just literally used this as a storage cupboard but i've cleared it all out and this will now be our coat cupboard but because it's a long cupboard i feel like the coats get so you kind of utilize the space the best with coats being stored in there so they're going to go in there when I bought these drawers from Ikea, I totally didn't think and totally forgot that you need this top shelf. So next time I go to Ikea, I'll get that. But for now, that's just going to have to stay like that. In here before, I had all my bags stored in here, but it was a bit like it was hard to get to them. I had to sort of move everything. So I bought one of these things from Ikea called a scub. <laughs> I love the names. So now I can just pull it out, it's kind of like a drawer I guess, um, and I've put all of my bags in here. I've really cut down on all my bags and just put loads in the pile for sale because I wear the same bags over and over again all the time. So, and now I'm just in that mindset where I really don't want a lot of stuff, I just want what I wear and what I love. So yeah, so as you can see it's actually looking not too full up, which I actually love, like I don't want loads of stuff. Yeah, so I'm happy. I mean, this isn't the most aesthetically pleasing thing, but it's very, um, what's the word? It's a, it's a good storage solution. Okay, now it's time to tackle all of these shoes. The majority of these shoes are sandals and are summer shoes, so I'm going to put them all in one of my IKEA bags for next year. As I'm taking them out, actually, I'm thinking, if I don't think I'll wear them next year, I'm gonna um, take them out and put them in the charity bag straight away, rather than, like, rather than putting them all in this bag um, and keeping hold of them till next year. I basically just wanna get rid of everything that I don't want, so anything I don't think I'm gonna wear next year is not going to be saved until next year. I said at the beginning of the video that I have a rail downstairs that I keep all of my new pieces on um, so that I can keep styling them up um, and they're kind of fresh in my mind while I'm working down here so I just wanted to show you this and just by the way it's never usually this tidy I have just filmed a video so that is why it's all nice and tidy for reality this is what the other side of the room looks like um but yeah i keep lots of my new in pieces um down here i can grab them quickly um for shooting and filming so there we go i have added some more knitwear pieces here i've kept my blazers here um i've put all like hangy things um in this long space as i put my coats in the other cupboard that i showed you and then over here i've got hoodies sweatshirts um a few shirts and my t-shirts. I still haven't filled all the drawers which I'm really happy with because it means there's more space. So I need to buy this top shelf when I next go to Ikea. Okay so that is my wardrobe sorted out and ready for autumn and winter. Thank you so much for joining me on my wardrobe clear out tidy sort um, and I'll see you soon. Bye!